Hey everybody and welcome to my guide on Sword Soul. Sword Soul is a synchro focused deck that used to be tier 1 but now rests comfortably at tier 3. And today I'll give you a basic rundown on the deck, what it can do and show you a combo. But before we get into that, please leave a like on the video if I could help you out today and consider subscribing if you want to see more guides, top 10s, shorts and more. Anyway, here is my Sword Soul list. You might notice this isn't Master Duel, that's because I swapped over to Omega just for the purposes of making my videos, as all of the cards are available here instantly and for free. All of the decks are of course still valid within Master Duel. This is a very standard Sword Soul 10 y list with a couple of bestials splashed in to help against Tear and any other graveyard based light or dark deck. The aim of the game here is to get 8 stars on board and go into Chi Chao, which then searches us Longyan and is a monster negate, and Longyan gets us into a level 10, mostly Baron. On the way we can set up for a Protoss to wipe away and lock our opponent from any attribute we want, or a Sword Soul Blackout for a pop 2, but that all depends on our starting hand. We have a few ways to get the 8 stars, Moye is the easiest as she is a 1 card level 8. Ashna and Ahara is another one, Taya can do it too as long as we have her Sword Soul or Worm in the graveyard. Ecclesia, she can do it too as long as she's summoning a Moye or Taya. The big stills can also allow us to do easier synchro 10s if we get an odd hand, as well as being DD crows that search, remove and special summon themselves. Sword Soul Emergence searches us a Sword Soul or a Worm card. The Strudo gets us into synchro 7s, 10s and 11s. Pot of Desires drops 2. Ash Blossom evenly, Maxi, Imperm and that's the main deck. In the extra, we have Monk of the Tenji to be able to special summon our Tenjis from hand, and Shaman to link up into. She can resurrect a Worm from our grave and has some battle protection. Then we have the Synchros, that's three sevens in double Baxia and a Yazi. They're both removal and used in some combos. Three eights in double Zhijiao and a Berserker. Berserker can quick effect banish and attack modulate. A 9 in Shen Shen works like a macro cosmos for the field, it's useful against some decks like tier elements. 3 tens in Barone, Qingjing Longyan and Shengying, and finally Psychic and Punisher, a level 11. It's unaffected by card effects as long as our health is lower than our opponent's, and the Strudo takes half your life points and is the way we summon this card, so the Strudo sets it up perfectly. It can also banish itself to banish a card and grows bigger and bigger every battle phase. It's a very good card. And that's the basic deck list. Let's take a look at a combo that sets up Protoss. Alright, so here we go with the Sword Soul combo. Pretty basic. I'm gonna start with a Moye. I'm gonna reveal one Worm from our hand. It's gonna be Taya. Summon a token. Go into Chi Zhao. Link, um, chain the Moye. Draw one. Surge Longyan. Activate Longyan, send a worm from hand, get a token, go into Baron, trigger Longyan, burn some damage. Emergence, grab Protoss, banish 2, summon, banish 3, summon Protoss, call Dark, and pass. Well, they just happen to be playing Salomon Great, but that's a super quick combo for you. Uh, the simulator is very, very fast, so you kind of burn through this really quickly. But that's a basic combo with Sword Soul. Thank you guys for watching this video as always. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. I'm gonna have a, uh, a little clip running of every single card in the deck so you can get all the names and stuff right after this. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.